Nika? Yeah, Nika, Nika. I would like to take a cheeky picture here. Stashed away in an alley, you wouldn't expect something like this. She just told me that it's going to close down. Completely surprised, the I maze mean, stashed in the middle of nowhere. So somebody told me these are supposed to be the best. <laughs> been with me through the ups and downs. We've uh, spent a lot of quality time together. She's always had my back. So today is a very sad day, ladies and gents. It really is. Words cannot describe how I feel today. It's the last ride. What's happening guys, I'm Zach and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'll be taking the baby out for one last ride before I pack her away for the winter. So she's not going anywhere, but I won't be able to ride her for at least four or five months until, until March uh, next year. So here in Hokkaido, it gets incredibly cold. And not just that, we get piles and piles of snow as well. So riding a motorcycle in the winter is impossible here. It'll be our final ride today. Uh, the temperatures are expected to drop dramatically starting from tomorrow. So the temperatures are hovering around 10 to 14 degrees today. And then tomorrow, we're gonna see the highest temperature to be three degrees and it'll be dropping to the minuses as well. So today is the last ride before I put it away. We'll be going over into Sapporo city. We'll have a quick session in the gym uh, and then we'll find somewhere to eat. Now we've got a few places in mind, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a surprise. Let's see how we get on. You ready? Let's go. Helmet. The gym is uh, not that far away from my apartment. In fact, uh, it takes me about seven, eight minutes to run in the morning. My own bike, I guess we'll get there in, into. What's this guy doing? For the final uh, bearable day on the bike, it's, uh, it's quite nice, in fact. It's really bright, isn't it? That was a nutty move, wasn't it? Okay, here we go. Time is six minutes past two. It's been an okay workout. I just did some uh, deadlifts, uh, some Romanian deadlifts, and then squats, and then uh, I finished up with some lunges. And now, let's get out of here and get some lunch. Come on. Right, out of ten, I'd say that was about what a five. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be a bit liberal and say five. Still, you know, if I'm not boosting a sweat, I still don't feel like I've done, I've done much. Right, gonna bounce on the bike and uh, let's go and get some food. That's a beautiful street. I think I've noticed this before. Genki in the Kurasa. Domo. 
I used to actually walk down this road every day. Well, not every day. The days that I was in the office uh, to work. Oh, it's amazing sushi restaurant inside this building. Mire though. You got trams here in Sapporo as well. So just another thing you got to look out for. This is the famous Nika Square because of the Nika sign. Nika? Yeah, Nika, Nika. So on a night, this is uh, where the action's at. That corner gets really crowded. It's a dodgy crowd, dodgy corner there. And then, yeah, immediately begin the dodgy shots. A Susakino, Don Quixote. It's a ghost town during the day, but as soon as the sun goes down, this is the place to be. Well, I mean, if you're looking for that kind of stuff anyway, not like it's for me, you know. Interesting restaurants that I'm meaning to try. That's a good spot for a picture, isn't it, yeah? In fact, I might just do that. Taking a few snaps. Japan has the law. As long as you have your ignition off and you walk with it, your bike can be treated just as a bicycle, I guess. So we're not violating any serious laws by being there. Right ahead we have Nakajima Park. We came there for a little family outing just the other day. I would like to take a cheeky picture here. Don't think I could make it happen with all those bollards here. I mean, I might be able to. If I'm very cheeky. <laughs> I made this stop. I got some amazing pictures. I even got this cute girl to stand by the back while I got some pictures. <laughs> I mean, I don't think they were the best, but in my mind, I was trying to rush a little bit. I think that's why they could have been a little better, but I got them. All right, let's go then. Let's walk with it before I get into some shit. going to restaurant we're going to is just a minute away on this road on the left hand side just ahead this is the place this is it
This is farmer's chicken, serving some of the best rotisserie chicken in not just Sapporo, but in the whole of Japan. The shop has nine branches spread across the country, including Tokyo. Inside you are greeted with a homely European style space with a visible kitchen so you can actually see the chicken being grilled right in front of you, cooked and served. Okay, so this is it for today. Let's go inside and check it out. I've heard some really good stuff about this place. Oh, shouldn't forget my phone. Japan or no Japan. As soon as I stepped inside, oh, I was immediately greeted with a warm Christmas vibe that I felt existed throughout the whole year. And it wasn't just the decor, the music either. Let's take a look at the menu and see what we have then. The signature grilled chicken was of course the star of the menu, with various options and sides, including a sandwich. You could also order bread and rice separately. あ、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。
このチキンはどこからですか海外です海外ですかうんブラジルブラジルブラジルチキンエースコーディス大金高いなりましたですねそうなんですうんそれ以上のチキンはすごく大変なのあ、すみませんありがとうございますコンプリメントマチョップスティックス。練習します。いや、ポークシマヤです。Right, that was just lovely jubbly. Five minutes away. So, the next place we're going to visit is a baked pie shop nestled somewhere in the side streets of Sapporo. And let's go and scope this place out. I'm wondering, is this an actual library? I've never seen this many leaves on the road, if I'm honest. That's because usually they clear it up straight away and Today there's been a lot of wind, so this is all, these are all freshly dropped leaves. I've gone past it. Oh geez, there it is. I've gone past it. Don't know, maybe it's the next one. Okay, no. Here we go. This is it. Look how stashed it is. Stashed away in an alley. You wouldn't expect something like this. Jeez. Right, so we are going to get some pie. And this place has been highly recommended to be one of the best pie shops in Hokkaido. So, got some high expectations. Let's see what we aim for. Hidden away in the side streets of Sapporo is Bean's Happy Pie Shop. It's quite the contrast from the surrounding buildings and gives a little bit of a resort-like feeling. Bean's Happy specialises in traditional baked Australian pies. And after it being recommended to me by other Brits living in Hokkaido, it's been on my list to check out. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Ja, osusume wa nan de shou ka ne? Hai. Ooh, we've got a pie selection here, aren't we? じゃあこれしみあの僕は僕は豚食べないのでこ,これでなんか豚入ってますか入ってないじゃあこれを二つお願いしますはい食べて大丈夫ですかあはいはいあじゃあ一つだけはい It's five hundred and forty yen for one I've got two I'll take one back for I as well so あ、いいですか。はい、あ、五時までです。どうも。五時まで。うん、全然。この店どれぐらい建てましたかね。七年。七年ですか、はい。もう今年で終わりです。あ、そうなの。はい、え、なんで
終わりなんですそうなの、はい、それは悲しい<笑>さあ We're gonna close at five, so I have to have a quick little bite and then get out of here. It's quite sad because she just told me that it's going to close down. I mean, to be honest, I'm not completely surprised. I mean, it's stashed in the middle of nowhere and it looks very expensive to own, to be honest, and the design of it. It must have taken a lot of money. So I wonder what it's going to turn into next. They can't just knock it down, it looks brand new. Look, I'm not a pie expert, and my scale of evaluating pies doesn't really extend far beyond Greg's in the UK. I mean, I can tell a good pie from a bad pie, but I know how deep people can go into the pie, so I'm just gonna get that out of the way now. So somebody told me this is these are supposed to be the best pies in Hokkaido. Oh my God. Priced to be made out of Hokkaido ingredients, the pastry was thick with a crispy outer, hosting the rich gravy and oozing cheese. I got the meat and cheese pie and it certainly did not disappoint. Okay, maybe the first pie after I bloody scorched myself to death. But once I got over that, it was amazing. Begin without to be an idiot and not to be expecting that. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really a pie connoisseur. I'm just comparing it to Greg's and it's, uh, it's better than Greg's. Nice little snack. Thank you very much. 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 They open until December this year. And uh, then they're going to suddenly shut down. I reckon, you know, it's in the fucking middle of nowhere. That's why. like it's a straight road home from here. Some exercise, isn't it? Right, we're back home, guys. Um, so I'm gonna wrap the bike up. Uh, I think I'll I'll take the battery out some other time. I need to do a couple of other things as well before I completely wrap her up. Uh, and then that's it. She is no longer going to be out and about with me. Ah, today, ma. So that was the last ride. I'm gonna miss you. Stay warm, stay healthy, and inshallah, I'll see you in in March. Right, and uh, thanks for tuning in, folks, and I'll see you in the next one. We might not be on the bike, but we'll definitely be getting up to something. So, I look forward to seeing you then, uh, and up until then, take care. Peace.